I'm on Anstey's Hill in the LA Hills at the eastern end of Grand Junction Road which stretches from here to Port Adelaide and behind the camera is the gorge for the River Torrens and on the other side of the gorge for the River Torrens you can get to Mount Barker and Murray Bridge and beyond and the review for solutions to the South Eastern Freeway suggested that the near north solution would bring trucks from Murray Bridge through here and then down this slope which we'll see in a moment is very similar descent as at South Eastern Freeway look at the the short north solution this is Mount Barker and here is the current South Steam Freeway coming down here to Crossroads here this is Crossroads and Portrush Road as the main trucking routes to the city the red lines are the railway lines and over here north of Grand Junction Road is the place where most of the interstate trucks would want to go the short north route was suggesting it would come from Grand Junction Road up Anstey's Hill and come around. Now these grow lines actually are places which have been designated by the University of and Canberra as in the engineering department as potential pumped hydro sites. The sides of the hills are so steep that you could use pumped hydro in fact there was one going to be here at Highbury where the existing quarries at the top and bottom of the hill which is part of another video and let's look at the elevation of this so this is down at Hope Valley at an elevation of 114 meters we come up to the top of Anstey's Hill at 408 meters we then go across and we go out down into the River Torrens Gorge and then we come up again and here we are at the Dun and this is Mount Barker so we can see that we're going to have to have a lot of tunnelling if we're going to try and avoid the steep slopes of these hills and a bridge across the River Torrens and so the other solution in the Globe Link review was the near south solution which was to use the gorge for the Onkapringa River and take the roads around again trying to hug the mountains and slopes and the gorges and canyons and end up at Bedford Park so this is Verdun, Mount Barker and this yellow line is the tunnel for railways which was proposed in an earlier time in trying to get freight into the Adelaide using rail. Now we're looking at uh, rail and roads and the short, north, short south route was going from Verdun around to Bedford Park and if we look at the profile so this is Verdun coming around the edge of the southern part of the Adelaide Hills along the valley there and this is at Bedford Park again we've got a need for some tunnels to be built the actual railway system through Adelaide Hills has about eight tunnels totaling some few kilometres of rail tunnels so tunnels in the outer hills are not a new new idea the short south route then can join up to the tunnels being built on the north south route in Adelaide 
and do so through the Darlington upgrade if heavy trucks are then to be able to move to the airport and to the northern suburbs. It suggested that a better solution is to look at Norway and Switzerland, which have got similar kind of mountain ranges, which are made up of very hard ancient rocks. And these ancient rocks are very difficult to mine through, but when they are built, they're quite stable. Let's move to Norway, which has got a lot more mountain ranges than Adelaide, but still of similar kind of rock. And between the city of Oslo and Bergen, the mountain ranges with the Lutz fjords has caused them to build a number of tunnels. And the most recent of those tunnels Here's a Lardal tunnel. And if we go down and look at the Lardal tunnel, and its profile, so here. It's only 15 metres above sea level for the portal and heading west the other portal is at 16 metres. Let's look at the eastern portal. And now we're going down into the field And you see the main road around the edge of the field has a roundabout which has a road that takes you then to the actual tunnel. And of course we're in Europe so the vehicles are travelling on the other side of the road. So the Lardal Tunnel has got these waypoints where people who need to rest can pull over to one side, fix up their tyres or, or have a rest for the moment and uh, the stress is taken away and you see large vehicles carrying motor cars can use this tunnel, it's tall enough to take those kind of vehicles. It has numbers of waypoints and there's been designed that there are four places where vehicles can do u-turns and turn around and go back again if there's any problems. The building of the north-south road tunnels is a given. Another possibility is we could actually build another road tunnel from Verdun to join up with the north-south tunnels, similar to the tunnel which was mentioned in the other video for railways. And if you look at the profile for this, We can see that the distance from the North South Tunnels to Verdun is 20 kilometres, which is about the same distance as the Lardal Tunnels 
in Norway. So it's an achievable thing to be done. And the advantage of this is it will remove all the problems of congestion in the Adelaide Hills and have greater safety, particularly if we implement the features in the Lalal Tunnels, having waypoints where people can stop and relax along the way and using horizontal ventilation with air purifiers rather than just blowing air through the tunnels and ability for vehicles to turn around and go back as in the little tunnels there are four places where people can big trucks and ordinary vehicles can do u-turns within the tunnel itself so it suggested that we could build a tunnel from Badun to Darlington to join up to the north-south tunnels currently being built in Adelaide.